Coming up on today's FNN, we get you ready for one of the biggest celebrations at EK. Plus, we explore the controversy around hair discrimination. And we talk spring sports. Stay tuned for all that and more, because FNN starts now. Hi, Jesus. Hey, Falcons. I'm Nick Longstreet. And I'm Zaire Davis. Over the last few weeks, hair choices have been making national headlines. Dress codes have been a topic in many school districts and regulations on students' hair are being labeled as discriminatory by some. FNN reporter Julie Islas set out to explore the importance of less restrictive hair policies and why they are culturally important. Recently, a family member of influential civil rights activist Malcolm X visited East Catwood. I had the opportunity to speak with Ms. Starbur Jones about her thoughts on restrictive dress codes. She shared her workplace experience with hair policies. So he came to work that day with his hair in twist. Now I wasn't there, but my assistant was there and she called me. Says, Our human resources manager came to her and said, who is that thing in gift wrap? Thing. He looks like he's, he's got a tree, tree roots on his hair. But he chose to wear his hair the way he wanted to, to represent what he felt was, he wanted to wear his hair that way. And now he's reduced to a thing. Not only are dress codes a workplace issue, they are a returning topic within school districts. The Government Accountability Office estimates that 93% of school districts have some kind of dress code or policy. East Kentwood Assistant Principal Mr. Harmon speaks on how the KPS dress code has changed to what administrators believe is appropriate. Our policy is, is Typically, as long as you're not harming anyone or it's nothing offensive, um, you could express yourself. We do ask that students express themselves in a respectful way, though. And when I first got here, you know, you couldn't wear do-rags and you couldn't wear hats. And, and again, like I said, I think the um, administration and teachers and everyone kind of got together and we start to think like, uh, does do-rags or does a hat really stop you from learning anything? Um, and then we started to look and see that, you know, really what we're really about is making sure kids are in class or at school learning. And we tried to cut back on some of those rules that we had. We still want kids um, to be respectful and to be appropriate. Michigan was the 23rd state to pass a version of the Crown Act. According to Michigan.gov, the Crown Act is aimed at protecting residents from workplace discrimination and eliminating hair discrimination. It's not your hair that makes you. It's not the color of your skin that makes you. It's how you are as a person and how you carry yourself. At EK, I'm Julie Islas. Monday marks the Hindu holiday of Holi, and that means the most colorful event at EK is back. The colorful celebration took place during a lunch on Monday, and more than 100 EK students and staff took part. Holi celebrates the beginning of spring, and students were able to toss colored dye to represent everything from love to peace. B. La Makaya, a senior, says that celebrating another culture is always fun. This year was a really fun event, and it was really nice to celebrate each culture. Like last year, I felt like I regretted not participating, even though, like, I wanted to. Earlier this month, students from East Kenwood took part in the annual Cesar Chavez Social Justice March. FNN's Evelyn Sanchez Gondaro was there and spoke with those in attendance about the life and legacy of the Cesar Chavez. On March 14th, many students gathered to go to this event to place the memory of Cesar Chavez. I spoke to Senora Bonham and I was told the first-hand importance of this memorable man. So Cesar Chavez was a labor leader and a uh, civil rights activist and he dedicated his life to improving the working conditions of the farm workers of the United States. I sat and talked to one of our fellow peers about their experience at this event. Everyone in the Hispanic community getting together and it shows you, it really shows you like the amount of people that still think about it and appreciate like the things that, that he did even if it's been like a while. I got the opinion of a first timer about whether they would recommend this memorable moment to others. I recommend this because like you just get to see a lot of um, you know, speeches and politicians. I know that Congresswoman Hillary Shilton also showed up and she made a speech um, pushing for the passage of the drive safe bills, which I support. At the Potter's House, I'm Evelyn Sanchez Gandara. To find out more information or to learn more about how you can get involved, stop by Room 20 and chat with Senora Bonham. That wraps up your news this week. Now let's send it over to Erica Large for your EK Sports Report. What's up, Falcons? It's your girl Erica, and this is your EK Sports Report. I'm back with spring sports, and today we'll be hitting the track. 
They started their season yesterday with the annual GVSU meet. The girls' track and field team had an awesome last season, winning the conference meet and the team states meet. Senior and distance runner Lexi Hurst says that her goal is to make states again. I'd like to qualify for states again, and um, one or two events would be fun. The boys' track and field team has also had some achievements as well and kicked their season off on Wednesday. Junior Caden Holt says that his goal this season is to PR, something he hasn't done since freshman year. Personally, last year I didn't really get to compete because I had surgery, but this year I'm really hoping to PR since I haven't since freshman year. Well, that does it for today's sports report. Now let's flip it back to the deck. Thanks, Erica. Now it's time to wrap up this week's show. Everyone claims to be the biggest fan of their favorite artist. So our Christy Wynn hit the halls to quiz EK students to see just how well they know their favorite musician. Up first, Christy finds out who the real SZA super fan is. What's up Falcons, it's Christy, and today I'm going to be introducing our new segment, Superfan, where we test two people on their favorite artists by having them guess the song from the first few seconds. Let's begin. Hi, I'm Amaya. Hi, I'm Hannah. <sighs> Snooze. All the stars. You just want me to play it longer? Yeah. The weekend. Lost control. We do not have control. It would just be <laughs> fatal. Don't. All the love galore. Many times day. Why am I so easy to forget like that? It can't be that easy for you to get like that. Oh no, she didn't. Oh yes, I did. Oh no, she didn't. I do it again. You know you're wrong. For Supermodel. <laughs> oh. No. Uh, I don't. I don't even know this. I don't one. think I know this one. I go. Is it like? It's no. more recent. Saturn. Yeah. Oh. Awkward. Oh my god! Look at <laughs> Only a few more days until spring break. But until then, make sure to follow us on Instagram and subscribe to Falcon News Network on YouTube, where you can catch sports live streams, previous episodes, and other great content. Plus, check the posters around the school to tune in to our new radio station and check out our podcasting channel. Have a great rest of your week.